Yeah. Okay. Helping Parents Heal is a nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting bereaved parents. Through support and resources offered, we aspire to help individuals become shining light parents, meaning a shift from a state of emotional heaviness to one of hopefulness and greater peace of mind. HPH goes a step beyond other groups by allowing the open discussion of spiritual experiences and afterlife evidence in a non-dogmatic way. HPH affiliate groups welcome everyone, regardless of religious or non-religious background, and encourage open dialogue. Attendance at all HPH meetings is voluntary. All discussions that take place at affiliate-led meetings are confidential. We hope that participants will learn from and share with each other. Zoom meetings run by HPH leadership are not confidential. These meetings typically feature guest presenters and are posted on YouTube so that affiliate members worldwide can watch and benefit. Neither type of HPH meeting is designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. Helping Parents Heal offers a wide variety of speakers, allowing parents to learn about many possible ways to heal. This includes presenters covering progressive topics such as afterlife evidence and connecting with children who have passed. The views expressed by our guest speakers may or may not reflect the opinions of Helping Parents Heal leaders and members. So we ask that you take from their presentations whatever may benefit you personally. Thank you. Thanks, Carol. Um, it's our pleasure to have Pauline here. I'll read a very short bio for Pauline. Pauline writes, I have been touched with the gift of clairvoyance since the age of 12. My psychic abilities have developed further over the years, and I now work as an international clairvoyant and medium. She travels across Great Britain and Europe, giving private readings and spiritual healing. Her work involves offering spiritual teaching. Pauline's greatest pleasure is witnessing the joy on people's faces after offering guidance and delivering messages from their loved ones in spirit to help people on their journeys through life. I'll put Pauline's website into the chat. Please feel free to contact Pauline and the information how to book a reading is on her website. We ask everyone today to wait after Pauline gives the validations. Make sure you can take everything before we type in the chat and please have your camera on when we call on you. Thank you. And I'll turn it over to Pauline now. Well, good morning to all of you and it's good evening here in UK. And it gives me great pleasure to come and work with you again. It's um, it's such an honor to work with all these kids and they come in, in their hordes. And before I come on, I try and make as many notes as I can so we can get as many kids out there uh, back to their parents. But, you know, never use the word die. They don't die. They live on. They go on and on as the animal kingdom does as well. So hold that deer in your heart. They're just a breath away from all of us. OK, so I'm going to start. And uh, the, the first one I've got here is, is a young man and he tells me he fell into bad company. He, he got involved in uh, addictive uh, drugs uh, and he couldn't pull back from it. He tried really hard. He had a, a wonderful, caring mother and father. And I feel that the bedroom that he had is still as almost like a shrine to him, but he, he couldn't pull back. And I got the word here, narcotic poisoning, which is where the bodies just just can't fight it anymore and everything was breaking down. Um, he's, he's absolutely stunning to look at. He smiles at me with great big eyes. Um, I, I feel he's um, more towards my colouring, the dark hair, the big brown eyes, but, but such, such love he comes with. So can anybody understand any of this or all of this, what I'm talking about here now? Please type in the chat if you can take any of these validations for your son. Okay. So we're getting a couple of people that are saying yes. Um, 
Pam is saying it could be her, Eric. Nancy said it makes sense to her, but not the bedroom. Um, oh, Lisa, okay. Our Lisa right here can understand everything. Hmm. Good. Okay. Do you want to talk to Lisa, Pauline, and, and we'll see? Yeah, if... she understands that he was very good looking, fell into bad company, all of that. And he tried to fight this addiction, but he couldn't. But I keep getting this word narcotic poisoning, so I don't know if that was anything to do. Uh, we call them death certificates here, what's written up as to what they actually would have passed with. Um, but beautiful eyes, lo lovely looking lad. <laughs> Go ahead, Lisa. That certainly yeah. sounds like your son. <laughs> And did look much like you. It was indeed a poisoning. It was a poisoning. Um, where are you? Uh, I'm right here. I'm one of the co -hosts. Lisa, that was oh, on with us Lisa. before. Hi, Lisa. Um, Sorry, it, everyone. It, is this your son? Yes. Whew, that's not the wind out my sails. And and you un you understand that he fell into bad company because this is he's actually showing a, an awful lot of remorse here and i and i felt that during the the course of this terrible journey he was taking he tried really hard to fight it and to pull back and he would do it but then he'd fall back again um and and this narcotic poisoning is is that relevant there extremely yes i understand that okay all right so he, he has sort of dark hair big eyes yes extremely good looking i think so right now as he comes closer he's, he's back now just as as he was and I, and i feel that he was a tease i feel he'd get behind you and tickle you do all sorts of stuff during his period of growing up and and do, do, do you um do you want do you understand that um he tried so hard to get away from this i do thank you thank you, thank you. Nice pardon that's nice to hear. Um, but his main reason for coming today is that he he wants to talk about family life and he realizes how important it is and the closeness of it. And he shows me a gentleman. Um, I feel he would have been a, um, an older member of the family that since passed to spirit. And, and he wants you to know that he's with this person as well. Thank you. And, and I hope you understand all of that. I do. Thank you, Pauline. All right. And so much love. And I'm, I'm going to leave him with you. He's, he's an absolute scream in here today with me, touching everything and interfering with, with me working. He's making me itch all over. Um, so uh, I'm going to, I'm going to leave this wonderful person with you. And thank you so much for taking. Thank you. I love that he said hello. I asked him to say hello and that's all I need. Thank you. That's you wonderful. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Okay. Um, so um, there's there's an, another got a lot of boys in here tonight. The boys push to the front, but I've I've got girls as well. But I, I need a, another young man here, and he was out with a group of kids climbing, and he slipped and fell, um, and I do feel that he sustained life threatening injuries here. And I can see stretchers trying to go up and get him down, but it was very, very difficult because they were, they were quite, they were, it looks really rugged where they're walking and where they've been. Um, but he, he was quite experienced. He said he knew how to climb, but he just grabbed something that just broke away. And that's what I saw. I saw his hand reach out and the rock came away and he fell. Okay. Um, so, Carla is saying that's her son. He was alone, though. Did you say that he was with someone else? I'm yeah, sorry. I've got I missed like that. A group of kids, group of kids climbing. Can anyone else take that? Um. Do you want to speak to Carla just to see? Nobody else. I don't see anything else in the chat. No one is taking this. Right. Um, let me just run it again. A young man, um, a group of kids. He says a group of kids climbing and he slipped and fell. Um, okay.
No one else is, looks like they're taking it. Do you want to speak to the mom that said it's her son, that her son fell? I, I will speak to her. Of course I will. Okay. Uh, I believe this is Carla's iPad. Okay. Carla, Carla, I've asked you to unmute. Hi. Hi. Hi, Carla. Um, do, do you understand that they had to get stretchers to get him out? Yes. Because it's the it's the stretchers that I'm I'm trying I'm trying to concentrate on here, and but he he his injuries were too bad. Yes. And I I can see him. It's almost like he's trying to hold on, but he couldn't hold on, and 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 he fell. But it it looks a place of rugged beauty where he is. It was. Do you understand that? Yes. And and he wasn't he wasn't a lad that took chances. I feel he was quite level headed in everything he did. He's telling me he was bright, he was clever, he had everything going for him. He was from a really warm, loving home. And 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 this has sort of it's almost like it's 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 devastated the whole family. And and this is what he's really sad about because he 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 wouldn't have done anything intentionally to hurt anybody and this is this is what he's coming across with today and and i don't know if there's anything carla going on within the family where words have been spoken that ha can't be withdrawn from somebody else in the family that's causing friction do you understand that because this, this is what he's here to talk about that that words that come out they come out so freely but they damage so badly yes and, and he's reaching out to try and and get somebody to patch this up to do something about it. He's he's around. He's there all the time. And 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 I I can feel puffs of wind as as if he blows on you. Um, and and I want you to look for that. And as Christmas is only round the corner now, he he shows me like the um, how can I describe him to you? Uh, like the Nutcracker soldiers that type of thing i don't know if you have them in your home but he would have loved those loved to play with them and and such a beautiful beautiful boy thank you um i'm, I'm gonna leave that with you and and i want you to just realize that he's trying so hard here to make the family happy again okay thank you um i'm gonna leave his love with you bless you bless <laughs> thank you so much thank, thank you for working working with me Beautiful. Thank you, Pauline. You're very welcome. I'm, I'm trying to find the girls because there's lots of girls here. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. I, I, I want, um, this is a baby and uh, she, she's, um, she was born and I, f I feel that there were breathing problems, whether she was too tiny, because I do see, we call them incubators UK, uh, like a little glass box that they put the babies in to keep them warm and, and, and tubes in and everything. And I could see all of that. But she, unfortunately, this little soul, this little star didn't survive. And and I, I feel that her breathing was really bad. She was um, not a good color. Uh, her, her skin wasn't pink. Um, I do feel that she was maybe a little bit prem, but not too much there. But it's the incubator I need to connect to and, and the breathing problems with this little thing. Okay. Can anybody take any of this? Um, Danny is saying her baby was deprived of oxygen. Yeah. Danny, is it Danny, is it a baby girl? Um, yes. yes, baby girl. Okay. 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 Uh, because I, I didn't, I don't like to describe it in too much detail. Mm -hmm. but I could see that she was blue. She wasn't, she wasn't a healthy pink. And okay. she, Danny, I've asked you to unmute. Hi. There? Yes. Yes. I'm there. Hi, Danny. Hi. Do you, do you do you understand all of this? Other than that, the fact that she was uh, not a lovely pink baby, but she was perfect. Other than that, she was perfect. She came out. Um, I felt like she. Came, I don't know if she was pink. She wasn't blue. 
she was a uh, normal color, but then, you know, deprived of oxygen quickly, you know, they intubated her and she was in the NICU for eight days before she passed away. But she was, she wasn't breathing on her own. She never, no, she never no, actually no. woke up. Yeah. No, and it, the, the, the color is round her mouth. That's where I can see it, round her little mouth. But, you know, she, children, babies, tiny little souls like that, she she comes in today and she has the most beautiful daisy for you and and i feel that this is this is her perfectly fresh and formed and never to forget her and i know you've got lots of things of hers uh, i'm sure that you have her hands and feet prints i'm sure there's pictures and i'm sure she was put in the most beautiful little dress she was you yeah. understand all of that and, yeah. and i, I want to hold her um, and I almost want to try and breathe life into her. She's so beautiful. And, She's and, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And she just comes today. Um, I don't know if there's an um, anniversary or a celebration in the family uh, coming around, but she, she just feels that the family need upliftment today, particularly today. Um, so that is why she's pushed her way forwards. But I, I need to tell you that she's absolutely fine now. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. Thank you. She would have been in three days. She would have been four months old. So there would have been an anniversary. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank you. You're very, very welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Um, right. Another little girl. Um, and she, I, I feel this little one, she would have been, um, uh, she would have been fairish in hair color. Uh, her hair, is like first first baby's hair where it, it's got a bit of curl in it. She's got big expressive eyes as she looks at me. And 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 I see her holding her little dress and she's dancing and, and I feel that she would as soon as the music started, this little one would want to move about here. I feel there were particular because the little hands are coming out showing me soft toys in her hands. Um I'm not good on age, but if I'm I'm looking at her, she's she's I want to call her toddler, a bit bigger maybe than that. Very, very pretty. And she became unwell um, and she became very weak. And, and I feel that she was rushed in, but, but she didn't survive. And, and there was a huge question on what was actually going wrong with her because I don't feel she was showing any signs of being poorly or, or, or illness. She wasn't on any medication for anything. But she, she's here today to just become reunited. And, and I feel it's her mummy she needs to reunite to. But she does say that there, there are other siblings, other siblings in the family. Okay. Can anyone take this? I know Carol's typing it, but no one has um, taken anything yet, Pauline. Okay. Um, I'll just give you a couple of minutes because I hate... I hate this. If I've got her age wrong and she was bigger, but it's the fact she's got this pretty dress on and the flower that she brings. Um, and soft toys. I do feel that there were uh, toys put in into her little coffin there as well. And I just see her little hair just smoothed across her face here. Yeah. Maybe it's going to be like the last meeting that when someone watches the um, video yeah. they can take it could be um, mine but no siblings and I felt she said there were siblings I do feel she she had siblings but the, the, the I'm almost wanting to say the cause of death was unknown because it was just one of those tragedies where heart stops and 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 they they go to the other world okay. but Anko um, says Anko says could be my little girl she had blonde curls Hmm. Anka, was there a question as to what happened with your little girl? Does that feel right to you, Pauline? I can't see the mum. Can I see the mum? Should we? You want me to call her on? Uh, if she is she is she understanding that? And there would be siblings. We can. Uh, she's not answering in the chat, so. I've asked her to unmute. Anka, are uh, you there? Hello. Yes, I am. Can you hear me? 
Yes. yes. Hello. Yeah. Can you turn Hello. it on, please? Um, let me try that. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm in South Africa. We also got evening here by us. So um can you hear me? Let's see, can you can I start video? Unable to start video. Yes, I can start video. I cannot start my video. I don't know why it's not um uh, privacy okay. settings where um video oh, switch switch on my video settings um let me see privacy um i'm trying to switch on my video but it's not allowing me um, okay let me just talk you... to you. yes let me just talk to you then okay, uh, okay. so do, do you understand everything that i've said there Yes, I do. Um, the only thing is, um, we we knew um, that she was poorly, but she became poorly very very suddenly. Yes, this is sudden, really sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she had a condition, but um, she fell poorly very quickly. And she became ill very quickly without us knowing um, that. Yeah. All right, and and do you want do you understand about the toys going in the coffin with her? Yes, definitely. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the toys, and and was there one other sibling or siblings? Uh two siblings. Uh, there was one, and a, a little brother was born after uh, she passed. Okay, and and would you have kept a pair of her shoes? Oh yes, many yeah, of them. Shoes that I need to to connect it to. As long as you've kept the pair of shoes, but but I I feel that she um she would have good and bad days. But I'm I'm sorry I didn't feel the fact that she was poorly. I, this felt quite sudden to me when it actually happened. It happened very quickly. Yes, definitely, definitely. And there was nothing anybody could do. That's that's what I'm feeling. Nothing. Yeah, it happens. It it, it 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 took it she took a turn for the worse and then it was just so quick after that. Yeah, and, and she just didn't survive. That's that's but she was very pretty, beautiful smile, became unwell, um, and she became weaker. And the weakness she couldn't pull back from that is is what I'm being told here. Um definitely. And and did they put her on some form of a a life support or something helping us. Yes. Her. Right. Yes, they did. Okay. Yes, they did. And and would would I be right in saying to you that there was a, a decision made that it it was going to be switched off? Um no, not necessarily. That it, it ran its course. There was they had it on full life support at, at some stage and um there was just no turning back. Okay. Um, yeah, um, so it wasn't switched off as such. And what she's also shown me now, they were working on her bloods. I don't know if they were cleaning her blood or what they were doing with the bloods, but I can see all that. Um, yeah, yeah they, they they did some cultures to see what what a virus she had or um, to see what antibiotics to give her, if, if I remember correctly. So there was definitely some blood work that were done. Okay, um, that that's fine. Then, then I I, I feel that I've, I've got the right mum with this. Come comes with a, a lot of giggling and a lot of laughing, and sure. I just hope that you feel this beautiful little soul around you. Oh, I do, I do. It was um, the anniversary of her passing on Sunday. Thank you. So, um, she showed me a card. So I don't know if that was a special card someone gave you, but she shows me a card. Um, and, and I do feel there's a picture of her on this card. Um, I can't think of anything right now. Okay. Um, yeah. That, that, that's fine. I, I feel I've got it, got it to the right, right place. Um, thank you very much. Thank you so much for working thank with you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Pauline. You're, but you're you. very, very welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, this, 
I, I want a young man now and, and he shows me a lorry or whether he drove a big vehicle. Um, and, and he would have suffered with a heart condition. Um, and he tells me that he, he went off to work that morning quite happily. And he was he was driving something pretty big that's what it looks like to me and he's got a lovely open smiling face here as he looks um and i feel he got um quite a good physique because i can see his forearms which are quite big a and he suffered a, um i'm going to say a heart attack he says a heart condition um and i feel when it was looked in into afterwards there would have been a fault in the heart and it, look, it looks to me like a valve or a muscle not working correctly. So the flow of blood wasn't moving around his body. He, he would have had um, a giddy, a goody feeling. And, and I feel that he, he just slumped. And, and then by the time he got to the hospital, he didn't, it was too late. His heart had stopped. Um. Anything yet? Lisa, is anybody taking anything? Is Stephanie has everything but the big vehicle. Hmm. Um, Does she uh, understand he was driving? Do you understand he was driving, Stephanie? I didn't need to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me. Not while driving, she says. Right. Um, I, I'm actually seeing him sort of sat at the wheel when it happened. Okay. So in his vehicle, anyone understand that? Stephanie says it could have started while he was driving, then he was out of the car. Mm. I, I just seem slumped and um, in, in a state of unconsciousness, but within no time at all, he'd passed. Hmm. Oh, it looks like she's the only one that can take anything. Do you want to speak with her, Pauline, or do you yeah. want to? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if I can get um, some more information from him. Wait, we have Nancy as well. Her cousin's son died in the car at work of an unknown heart condition, well-built yeah. personality. Yeah. So, okay, it's okay, let the other lady go. No, I, no it's, it's whoever the validation they're, they're is They're real for. people. <laughs> yes, they, they are real people. So um, most of the information does need to fit. So what do you think, Pauline? Do you want to speak I, to I, I need him Nancy? Because he's making me pull my sleeves up. His arms, so he was well built. He was good looking, a lot of fun. Um, I, he's just showed me jeans and like, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what you call those little boots, but our boots, they have a special name and they're sort of like uh, a caramelly color boot. Like a work boot. Yeah, like yeah. a work boot. Um, and uh, I feel they had toe protectors in, so he would have done something um, that that he needed to take care of his feet. Yeah. Um, but that sounds like Nancy, doesn't it, uh, Lisa? Do you think? Yes, I think so. Okay, I've asked her to unmute. Nancy, do you can you unmute, please? Hello. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Hi, Nancy. I'm ashamed to say I just can't think of his name right now. We just talked. It's because I I lost a child, and we were just talking. And um, that that's okay. That's I just okay. I can't think of his name for some reason. I think his nickname was Juju or something. He had this huge smile, these muscles, and he was just, you know, just big presence like my child was. They were very similar. And um, uh, it, um, he, he's we, he's just making me laugh. I can't think of the the guy that I the guy in Dirty Dancing. What's his name? He looks. He's got arms like him. Um, Patrick yeah. Swayze. Patrick Swayze, and yeah. full of it, absolutely full of it. He was a torment, a tease, and and the, it yeah, was an was. unknown condition. No, nobody had any idea that this was there. Yeah, and he was her protector, and 
was going to help her get out of this abusive relationship. And then he kind of died and she just, you know, lost her world. That was five years ago, but we were just talking, thinking our our kids are together. We were just talking the other day. I was hoping mine would come through, but still, he, if I could tell her he came through, that would be. That's, that's wonderful, nice. but it's the big smile and, uh, and, and he says, he just laughs at me. He said I was a natural flirt. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> a natural flirt. And, and I feel he would have teased the life out of people. Um, he shows me the clock and then pushes it backwards. So was he a bad timekeeper? I don't know. I'd have to ask her. I'm not yeah. sure. I just don't know. Um, and I feel in his younger day, he chewed a lot of gum because I can see his mouth going all the time, all the time. But oh, maybe he, he, he could have. He could have. He could be quite forthright. He would get his point of view over. But there was nothing aggressive about him. He was just pure fun, is what I want to say. Okay. Oh, I'll let her know that he may have came through. And okay, that that's yeah. lovely. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, all right, with all my bits of paper here, there's so many. Let's go over to this. Um, all right. There's there's um, a situation here. This this is where the father of of this boy is is very ill now i feel he's not well and the son comes to support him um and the son i feel was between 20 and 30. he passed with stomach and intestinal problems um i i feel that he um he became unwell and he couldn't cope with things but he tried to hide it but it's all across the stomach almost almost like um um, I, I don't know what I want to call it, but it, it's um, it's very very painful. I know that, but but he's here today because I feel his father is is ill and he's come to try and support the family. No one is taking anything yet, Pauline. Okay. Um, and between 22 and 30 stomach and intestinal problems oh okay so it looks like we have um shauna is saying the father is ill son passed of heart issues but vomiting before he passed and, and what about the age he was 20. Mm, yeah okay and and um and the and the father needs a lot of support at the moment Okay, and then I see you have your hand up. Can you type in the chat, please? Is that Deb? We also have someone on an iPhone who had that is Deb. Hi, Deb. Okay. <laughs> Deb, do you understand that your son's father is ill? Can you type in the chat, please? She went away. Okay. Hi, Deb, where are you? I think we're with Shauna. Okay. Okay, well, we'll ask, I'll ask Shauna to unmute. Hi, Shauna, can you please unmute? Hello? Oh, you having trouble unmuting? I don't know. I've been asking her to unmute. So now we have someone else as well. We have Joan and Josie. Okay. Uh, Josie, hold on. My brother passed. Our dad is very sick in the hospital right now. He had a tumor removed in his small intestine. My brother took his life. My mom is here watching as well. Just can't figure out how to text. Joan says my son had kidney cyst disease. Perhaps they're together. Joan and Josie, are you together? No. Okay. Well, now we have lots of people. Pauline, what are you feeling? Um, he, he definitely didn't take his own life. Okay, so this would not be Josie. 
Uh, I don't feel he took his own life at all. I feel it was all to do with this problem with his stomach. I almost want to use the word sepsis. The whole of the stomach was. Shauna's unmuted. Shauna, do you understand sepsis? I don't understand sepsis. My son had um, enlarged heart, but he was vomiting for 12 hours after before he passed away. Mm. Um, he made me aware of terrific stomach problems, but he's here to support his dad. Yeah, my, my husband um, had a stroke and endocarditis and heart valve replacement, and now he needs another heart valve replacement. Okay, Joan is saying her son died from infection, which is sepsis, basically blood infection. Um, what do you feel, Pauline? I need, I need it to be with someone that sounds better with um, a stomach. Joan. That's what it felt okay. like to me when they gave me sepsis. That's okay. Sorry, Shauna. Thank you. I've asked Joan to unmute. Hi, Joan. Okay. Can you hear me? I'm trying to get the video to maybe. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Joan. So, Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So did you understand all of that? Dad very ill, son, son comes to support. Yes. And, and son between 22 and 30? Yes, 25. 25, that'll do me. And, and he, he passed with stomach and intestine problems. Yes. Right, was, was there any time he was passing blood? Yes. Right. That that was the key question I was going to ask. And and did he like to comb his hair a lot when he was fit and healthy? He would brush it back like this, just like you did. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I want to be combing my hair all the time. Um, <laughs> he would brush it back just like you did. Um, I, I, I feel that he. Um, he became unwell because this is something that dragged him down. This is what he's saying to me and he couldn't he couldn't pull himself back up and each day it got worse he's telling me and he became weaker and weaker but his eyes remained bright and i feel his eyes followed people around the room i'm not sure there was a lot of talking um towards the end well that may my son was like he kept going kept going and then finally, um, we we were in a different state, and we had we knew he wasn't well. You know, he had all you know these issues. The hospital um, where he was living didn't do anything, so he flew to where we were. And then three days later, he just didn't wake up. So the last couple of days, we knew he was sick, but he wasn't like you know in a hospital bed or you know we we didn't know how sick he was. So okay. I don't um, know if, if it, you have. It's, it's the sort of because he won't l let me stop touching my hair now. It's it's flicking of the hair. He but, had beautiful hair, and he he was always flicking it like that. <laughs> yeah, and um, he's now showing me himself uh, eating ice cream. So I need him to like ice cream. Yes, um, I I need him to um. Yeah, he's just full of life. I, you know, I don't feel he opened gates. I feel he jumped over things because he, he could. Because yes. He, he was good. He said he was sharp. So that, for me, being sharp means he was bright as well. He was very, very smart. And um, I feel, feel figure work, numbers, all that sort of stuff he was really yes. quick on. Um, Especially with numbers, yes. Um, the numbers were really important to him. He... Um, he achieved, he tells me he achieved a lot in his short lifetime and he yes. just just needs to come in here today to just, just, just to be here. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Thank you. Um, right. I, I try and stay away from sort of violent things because I hate bringing them through, but I, I need something here with a, a car uh, and it's dark, it's night time and it's a group of lads, um, but it, it's getting out of hand and I'm feeling there was drugs involved here, but I'm, I'm feeling there was an injury to a head and a chest 
but but I've also got the word um, of a gun, so I know there was a shooting as well. So it's a car in the dark, a group of lads. Um, but I feel this lad that's lost his life wasn't really part of that scene. He'd slipped into it, and and I feel that that he he couldn't do anything to pull back. But th this was wrong place, wrong time when this happened. Okay, can anybody take this? This was one of the first lads to come in. Okay. Um, if you can't, I'll just ask him to step aside. I do have a new member in my group, Pauline, who this yeah. sounds like it could be for, and I'll I'll reach out to her and have her Thank listen. You. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, I, I I don't like bringing that type of thing in because it it just it isn't nice. And but but we know it's happened. But I feel there's also there's also somebody's um they're in prison, but there's I don't know what's going on there. It just doesn't feel comfortable to me. But I'm good. If I leave that with you, then I can't hear you. You've got your mic off. I'll reach out to her. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. All right. Um, and I'm just hoping this isn't Carly coming in here. Oh, no. I'm, I'm trying my best to move away <laughs> away from her. But I, I've got a girl, a girl here, a, um, girl, young woman. Uh, she's fair haired. And she's got like a what we would call like a, a theatre gown on, um, like uh, something easy to be able to get at her body to sort her out. And I feel everything was going wrong with her, and she would have lost a lot of body weight. And I see her walking, walking. She's still walking at this stage with her family supporting her, but she's leaning onto them. And and I do I do feel that. It, it was bloods it was it was lungs I, i'm i'm seeing clots and and they can't seem to get to the bottom of it and it feels as fast as they try and clear some of the clots more are forming but but she's as bright as a button and she just turns and looks at me and and she wants to say that i i couldn't survive it but i am here now and it's with great love that she comes to support the group and the families here Mm. All right, Mary Kay is saying maybe her daughter um, could be, you know, that was Carly had um, four operations for blood clots yeah. and they couldn't get to the bottom of it before they finally did. But um, Mary Kay is possibly taking this as well. Do you want me to ask her? Um. Uh, it, no, it's fair hair, she's saying, but not fair hair. Christ Christina oh, said not fair hair. No, um, girl's got fair hair. Mary Kay, did your daughter have um, fair? Was she fair? Did she have um, blood clots before she passed? You're on, you're on silent, Mary Kay. Um, okay, Mary Kay, let me ask her to unmute. Okay, I've asked you to unmute, Mary Kay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, hi, Mary Kay. Do you, do you understand all of that? Yes, she had many blood clots. Um, oh. She actually passed from um, uh, a blood cancer that right. where okay. she either clotted or hemorrhaged, one of the two, it was back and forth. And she was blonde, yes, or is blonde, yes. And um, did did they put her in this like a theatre gown? Because that's what I can see her in now. Like, yes. Uh, yes. Like a tie at the back so they could get her yes. quickly. Yes. Yeah? yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, I'm feeling that she um, she was quite a character, quite a personality. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Uh, really, really strong. And she talks about having such support from the family. Yes, yes, she's my youngest of five children. And um, 
Did you ever live in a trailer? Or did you take her in a trailer? Um, what is no. a trailer? Is that like well, a trailer? It, it's not exactly a trailer. It would be more like a big conversion van. Yeah, uh, yeah some, somewhere that you could go and enjoy life. Yes, um, yes. She shows me that. Um, but she's pointing her toes, and I feel as a little one, she'd have liked to dance again. I don't know yeah. if she ever did ballet, but she's certainly got ballet shoes on. Um, she didn't do ballet, but she liked to dance. <laughs> right, okay. And she shows me that she, she would draw these funny pictures which were kept i don't know if you had them up on the wall or where you had them as she was growing up she she was quite uh colorful in things she liked to do um she uses the word wacky wacky for me did she she, she do strange <laughs> stuff with her hair as well yes like wacky. She, was, she was she was forever putting different colors in it yeah that'll yeah. do me yeah that'll do me and <laughs> did she ever wear like big boots as well because i've got this dainty little kid and and these boots on my feet i don't know if i would ever um classify her as dainty she was more into sports right okay a powerfully built girl yes right okay now I don't know where this is coming from. Um, she shows me police. Uh, I re I'm retired law enforcement. Right. Yes. And so, so would you have uh, been in these cars, police cars? Um, no, I worked in a jail uh, with a sheriff's department. Okay, because I can I can see a gun strapped to you as well. Did you wear a gun? I have one, yes. Right, okay. Um the reason that she's she's here today, is th is there somebody in the family that's suffering some stomach problems at the moment? Um <laughs> um there's someone in the family that's suffering problems yes oh yes yes yeah yep. it almost feels like an acid reflux or something going wrong then and she's here she's here because she wants this person to get some help i believe she's talking about her aunt yes okay she she talks about um a really close connection to you yes um, and it's, I almost see you just nursing her, cuddling her, um, talking to her, um, trying to, trying to pacify her, to calm her down, to, to get her into that peaceful place that she needed to get to. Um, with my daughter or with the other person? No, with your daughter. Oh yeah, very definitely. Yes. Um, and, uh, did she ever put red in her hair? yes yes a brilliant red yes, yes. Yeah. okay yes. and, and uh, almost i don't know did she do piercings as well she did her ears yes right um I'm, I'm just wanting to be really outrageous and wacky that's what she feels like to me um comes with so much love and feeling and she she says that you are you are picking up your life, but it's taken you a long time. I'm trying. Um, it's just her second an the second anniversary of her passing is on New Year's. So okay. I'm trying. This is a very hard time. Okay. Um, a, a lot of love here. A lot of love. And are you still in touch with some of her friends? Yes. Um and and ha and is there a locket or something on a chain that's relevant with this young lady her friend you mean uh, no her your daughter was it um it she had a, a necklace that um said best friends and half she had and half her other friend had okay that that's fine that's that's fine okay um 
I don't know, she's teasing me here. Did she smoke? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I, d I just wanted some confirmation on this. Yeah. Um, so I definitely feel I'm with the right person. She said to tell you that she's as outrageous as she was, um, loud, raucous, full of life, full of fun. And um, thank you. Thank you for everything. It is what I want to say. Thank you. Thank you, Pauline. You're very thank welcome. You. Thank you, Laura. You're, you're very welcome. Um, I have an, another girl here and she was a swimmer, a good swimmer. And I can see her in a pool as if she was training, training. And uh, she was extremely good. She won medals. Um, and, and I feel that she was almost to the peak of the fact that she was so good. She could have been Olympics or gone into big stuff. And she's very, very lean as she goes through the water and I'm watching her. But I, I then see a, a complete different thing here. And, and this was um, a, a cancer that had got hold of her. And she, she tried very, very hard to fight this. But I'm looking at her little face and it's the eyes that, that, that shine through all of this pain that she was going through. But she would have won medals and, and that's the bit I need, I need to get to. She would have won medals and there would definitely have been a terminal condition here. Um, no one yet, right, Lisa? I don't see anything. No, I'm not seeing anyone either. Okay, then then we'll leave it because I know I've, I've only got the time is ticking away and yeah. I want as we have... much in here as I can. So nobody understands? We have a, a woman who says her son is a great competitive swimmer with lots of ribbons diagnosed with cancer. No, it's a girl. I can't. I can't it's change. Thank you. Yeah, we have we have time for one more, Polly. One more. Okay. All right. So um, I'm I'm just gonna go go in here and find whatever's there now because I just feel there's too many there on that paper that I need to just reach out and, and find something else here. And um, I've got a young man here coming in, and uh, as he walks past me, he's quite slim in build. And I feel he hid a condition. And, and again, it's stomach cramps that are pulling me down. I feel he lost body weight. But I, I do know there was some form of blood being passed here. And he didn't, he didn't want to tell anybody about this. Um, I don't know if he ever suffered what he thought, we call it in England, appendicitis. But I'm feeling the whole lot here is... is, is um, it's almost like something's rotten inside of him, like appendicitis, which turns to peritonitis. And and but I know he passed blood and he's very, very thin. He was from um, a family. I feel there were at least one or two other boys around him, whether they were cousins of his or whether they were actually siblings of his. Um, I, I feel um, I'm seeing bricks being laid. So whether the father or somebody else in the family would have been a bricklayer, something to do with buildings. I can see wood site. I can see um, a, a lot of activity, but I, I just see him getting thinner and thinner. And I feel he was taken into hospital, but I don't f feel he survived very long. But I feel he needs to talk to his mother, who is struggling at the moment with accepting this. We have a woman, Nella, who says, Nella, you understand all of this? Text, yes, if you understand all of this. Yes. Yes. Okay. I've asked her to unmute. Hi, Nella. Can you unmute, please? Hello. Can I see you? I've asked her to unmute. Um, 
I don't know if you could scroll through and find her. She raised her hand. Where is she? Here she is. All right. Nello, we've asked you to unmute. Did you unmute? Yes. Okay. Can okay. you see her, Pauline? Can you talk to me? Yes. Yes, you're right at the top. Yes, hello. I can see you now. Okay. Can and you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. And, mm. and and so do you understand all of that, that he was quite slim, but it, it's a problem in the stomach area here and I, I'm feeling he passed blood. I don't, I'm not even, I'm not even feeling that he told people about this. It's almost as if I want to hide it. He had ulcerative colitis and he was bleeding yeah. and he lost like 50 pounds and died in two months. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and, and he was, so it's, he was, was he, very handy when he was building stuff around the house. So right, I, so he did the building as well. Okay. And and would you have is this your son? Yep. Thank you. And and did you ever find uh, anything with blood on it, underpants or anything like that? Because it's almost as if he's hiding it all. He was always bleeding. He was always bleeding. Okay. He's not here to talk about that. Uh, they just need to give me that condition so I can get it to the right thing. But he's, he's here to talk to you. And, and he's, he's, his concern is around you and your health. Um, I particularly want to be looking at your back and because I want my back, my back feels quite painful at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. And and he's he's here to remind you of when he was fun, and and I feel he tried to carry too much. I can see planks of wood, all sorts of stuff that he's trying to move about here, and it was always urgent that get things get done and get done quickly, as if he hadn't got a second to breathe. And, and I feel he was like it as a kid growing up. Yeah. He talks about a particular favorite jumper, and it looks like one with like a hoodie, a hoodie type thing. He was always wearing that sort of thing. Um, he, he um, again, they're very good looking kids coming tonight, extremely good looking. And and he, he, he makes me laugh. But do you have anybody called Tina around you? Mm, no. You say no. You, I won't pull away, but I just heard Tina being mentioned here. So I, I don't know if this was a, a There is a, a T name, but. It's not Tina, it's... Okay. And, and this was somebody he was friendly with. Um, but I, I feel that he he never really said how poorly he was and, and this was the problem here with this lad. Yeah. Um, he shows me a watch. I feel there was a special watch he had. He had a few, so I, he was um, in it. Um, but I, I, I just want, I want to be an all rounder, which means he would have loved to do everything, everything. Yeah. Um, and as a youngster, I want to take you back with him. He would have ridden a bicycle and he would have ridden it like it had an engine in it. It, it was like full pedaling it as fast as he possibly could. Don't remember. Um, he comes with a lot of love and has there been a tree or something planted in his memory? No. Because he show, he actually shows me an apple tree. He shows me an apple tree. So whether that's a memory, um, I, I need to give you that as well. There is tree connections, but we didn't plant anything in his name. But there is a tree connection. He planted um, a lot of trees. He planted trees. Okay, then maybe I've got that wrong, but I know there's trees because he shows them to me. Um, and and are there other male males siblings around him or cousins or? Yeah. You mean deceased or alive? Alive. Oh no. 
because he talks about other lads around him. He talks about life being like a jigsaw puzzle and it's getting the jigsaw to fit the right way round. And sometimes we can't, but he said he tried his best to get as much out of life as he could. He wasn't somebody that would sit and sulk and, and be ill because he was up and bouncing all the time. But the pain got him down, but he wouldn't listen and he kept going. Yeah. And just so much love I need to send to you and to all your family. And, and thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, that's just beautiful, Pauline. Thank you so much. That was uh, an amazing, an amazing hour. And if anyone uh, received a validation tonight and love to, uh, Elizabeth would love to include it in the next newsletter. Carla, uh, Mary Kay, I know there's quite a few if you just either reach out to Elizabeth Facebook Messenger or email her at Elizabeth, Elizabeth at helpingparentsheal.org. Send her a picture of your child and just a little paragraph and she'd love to put it in the newspaper, um, in our newsletter next month. She just published the November newsletter, so it would be for December. And Pauline will be back um, the last, let's see, November 30th, right, Pauline? Wednesday, November 30th? Yeah. And um, Pauline's website, please reach out to her. How long is your wait list, Pauline? Do you have um, a wait list for readings? No, not, not really, because I work at it all the time because I think it's important to people. Um, oh, wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And Lisa and Carol, thank you for helping. I will ask everyone to unmute and say thank you. And Pauline, thank you once again. It was a wonderful thank meeting. You. Thank you. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.